Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to watch the Nitro Show, where it's negative 320 degrees below zero. And welcome back to our Keller Science Theater. I am Dr. Nitro. Today's show is our Nitro Show. We'll be talking about Nitro. I keep saying Nitro. Does anyone know what Nitro is short for? I'll give you a hint. It's something colder than ice. Something colder than snow. Something colder than ice cream. Dry ice. Yes, something colder than dry ice. Liquid nitrogen, you guys have it right on the tip of your tongues. You have it. Now, our dry ice is negative 120 degrees, and our liquid nitrogen is neg negative 320 degrees. Now, that's very, very cold. So cold, in fact, that I have to use special gloves while working with my liquid nitrogen. Now, if the liquid nitrogen touches my skin, it's going to feel like it's burning me. It's going to feel so cold that it feels like it's burning, a burning sensation, hot. I don't want to feel that at all. So I'm always going to make sure I have these special gloves. Now, if you guys are really, really cool and do me a favor and click that like button, I'll show you what my liquid nitrogen looks like right now. Did you guys click it? Make sure you get that notification bell as well. Give you guys a little, woo, pour it off my table for you so you guys can see it. Cool, right? And if I take some of my own oxygen and blow it, now I'm all nice and cool. I'm not hot anymore because of these lights. Now, I put a rubber ball inside of our liquid nitrogen. It was already in here, gonna take it out. It's a bit hard. I don't know why. I think the molecules in our ball went from moving around to stiff once the liquid nitrogen hit it. So imagine you're in your room, right? It's really, really cold. Mom has on the AC. It's piping. It's really, really cold. You have to put on your covers to get yourself all nice and warm. So you go from shivering to just still. And once you put those covers on, you get nice and warm, and you turn back into a nice, bouncy ball, but if your mom just has the AC on, it's really, really cold, it's really, really cold, and you guys don't have any blankets or anything, we're gonna see what happens. Now, I think I might add just a little bit more liquid nitrogen, just to make it extremely cold, because who doesn't love liquid nitrogen? Now that you guys see it, I think you guys might like it a lot. Another nice little cool breeze for me. Stir it up, stir it, and now we drop. Three, two, one. That was a load of nothing. Why did it not bounce back? Our atoms were frozen. Molecules in our ball was frozen. Now we're gonna come back to this bouncy ball in a little bit and see if we can get it to bounce. Now, what happens if I take some of my dragon's breath I have in my mouth here, yes, and I dip it on some of this balloon that we have here. So I'm gonna take my balloon, put it inside of our liquid nitrogen, get our balloon nice and frozen, and see what happens when I blow my breath on it. Because again, our liquid nitrogen is negative 320 degrees, so cold. I think that's good enough, a little swirl. Now if I take it and I add pressure to it, it's just like salt bait. Crumbles right in my hand. But if I take the same stretchy balloon, stretch, 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 we see that it's stretchy, dunk it in there. Shout outs to Kobe. My three pointer there. Three point. Getting my Emerald Lagasse on with my stirring. Was it Chef Ramsay now? Now I'm gonna take some of my dragon's breath and <sighs> blow it all over my balloon. <sighs> and there we have another stretchy balloon. Just one more time for you guys. I'm gonna throw it back into my liquid nitrogen to show you that it is getting hard. We can hear my ladle or my tongs hitting it. We're gonna tap it. 
we hear that it's hard, but once we add a little dragon's breath, our atoms start to loosen up and get warm, and we have a stretchy balloon again. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little hungry. I'm in the mood for a burrito. Give me one second. I'm going to make myself a burrito. Woo. It's the only times you guys have seen me without my gloves. It's about big, big as my head. All right, all right, we're good. We're going to tie this now. Now what you guys are gonna see is a shrinking motion with my balloon. Gonna make sure I throw back on my gloves. I don't want that burning sensation on me. It's so cold, it's hot. I'm on fire. And we're gonna just roll, roll like we're rolling up our burrito. Now right now, all that hot air that I just blown into our balloon has evaporated. And now we have a scrunched up balloon. It is time for the Roman candle aspect of our experiment. We're gonna take this balloon, we're gonna put it inside, stuff it down. And now, if I point it at maybe you guys, it'll pop. <laughs> Woo! That was good. All right, let's check it out. All right, now. We have ice flakes inside of our balloon. I hope I didn't scare you guys just now. I'm a little, just a little frightened, but I'm okay. Now we have icicles inside of our balloon. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try it one more time for you guys. I think that was so cool. Let's get it the size of my head. Suppose this one's a little frozen here. So what are we gonna do? Blow our breath on it to make it stretchy. About as big as my head. All right, good, good. And back inside of our liquid nitrogen. Don't forget our gloves. Now, before I put it inside of our flask here, we're gonna see what happens if I just take my crumpled balloon out of our liquid nitrogen and I blow some of my dragon's breath on it. So right now it's shrinking, it's shrinking. The atoms inside of our balloon are shrinking. Oh no, where are they going? Right? Just roll it up like a balloon. No, not like a burrito. And take it out. Take some of my nice breath and... And there we have. Our balloon is back to normal. Now, I'm gonna take it, put it inside of our flask, and we're gonna get our same Roman candle effect. You guys seem ready. My like button is going off right now. I can see the notifications. You guys are loving this liquid nitrogen experiment. Now, it is time to put it back in and throw it down. Take our tongues, give it a little push there. Should I point it to this side, maybe this side, maybe backwards, over here, this way, oh. Okay, with us, with me being a scientist here, we have a lot of trial and error. So right now you guys can be typing in ha 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 and laughing at me, LOL. It is all needed. We just had a malfunction. We have a lot of trial and error. Let's try to. Okay, I don't think this is gonna come out. We're gonna just. All right, it came out, guys. Thank you, guys. I know you're clapping right now in your seats. Thank you. It's a little hot up here. Woo! Now, my question to you guys, you can answer in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment. I want to know, can I blow this balloon up with my liquid nitrogen? Your dad knows already, your mom knows already, but I'm asking you, the child viewer, and for those parents that don't know, give you a little hint. Yes, you can. Let's do it. So we're gonna take this flask here. 
this Erlenmeyer flask, and we're going to blow it up with a balloon, of course, guys. We're not just going to take it and make it blow up. It's dangerous. And because I'm such an expert, we're going to add some more liquid nitrogen. I'll show you guys some more liquid nitrogen. Why not? Why not? Woo! Now, this part, I advise no one to, you know, kids, cover your eyes. Don't watch me do this. I'm going to put on our balloon with no gloves. I am a trained professional. I've done many, many hours of this. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! I did it. Now, our vapor is trying to escape into our balloon. It's escaping, and as I rub the bottom, our balloon grows even more. I don't know if you guys can see it. Is it the size of my head? Not yet, we can get it bigger, we can get it bigger. I know I have a big head, you know? Confidence is key. Here we go, it's getting bigger. What do you guys think will happen if I poke it? Bloop. Nothing. Let's just keep rubbing. It didn't go kaboom. I'm gonna try one more time, guys. I think we got one more in us. Second time's a charm. Woo! And again, we're gonna make sure we have our balloon on nice and snug, and we're gonna give it a nice rub at the bottom. Rub, 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 rub. And we can see our balloon growing again. This thing is warped. Ooh, what happens if I poke it? Nothing, nothing. And there we have it. Kaboom. So, my boss is calling me right now, guys, and I have to explain why I just set off all the fire alarms in downtown Fort Lauderdale. I would like to thank you guys for enjoying my natural show. I'll see you guys again at the museum. Bye, guys. We want to thank the Leo Goodwin Foundation for sponsoring today's video. And like liquid nitrogen, below zero, subscribe below.